I love that the Guiding Star Project is offering real solutions for communities. And it's not just this you know, widespread solution, but it's actually meeting each community um, where it's at and saying, how can we serve you better? And it takes I can, the whole pro-life rhetoric and actually puts it into action, which is amazing. You know, you hear a lot about organizations that um, we want to take down, right? We're against uh, abortion providers. But at the same time, we have to make sure that we're filling that void with something. And so I think it's vital that we go beyond just the regular pregnancy resource centers, which do amazing work. But at the same time, like there's a lot of room for improvement if we really want to compete with these other clinics that are offering abortion services. Because at the end of the day, I think it's just as important as a woman that we make sure that we're providing health care for women and not just uh, not just being against something, but really being for something. I think Guiding Star fits in really well in the pro-life movement because, again, it's a matter of putting these beliefs and these words into action. So I, I personally love the holistic approach of Guiding Star, and I think we are so primed and ready, you know, for this time, especially within the feminist movement. You know, we see a lot of women who, by the medical complex, has been treated, you know, there's a lot of lazy medicine right now, and um, a lot of women who have something going wrong, they go to a doctor and they're just given this Band-Aid solution of here, you know, here's a birth control prescription and it's supposed to solve everything. Rather than understanding how women's bodies work, how our fertility works, there's something so incredibly empowering about women actually knowing how they function and knowing they're not broken. They don't need to be suppressing their fertility. They need to be understanding it and learning to work with their body rather than against it.